In this video, we can learn SIC XC machine architecture. We are already familiar with the SIC architecture. Now we can see the SIC XC architecture. So these are the contents. Memory. Memory structure is same as SIC, but there is one difference. That is the maximum memory available here is make one megabyte, which is 2 to the power 20 bytes. So earlier in SIC, it is 2 to the power 15 bytes. Here it is 2 raised to 20 bytes. So this increase leads to change in instruction formats and also the addressing modes. Registers contains all the registers in SIC. In addition to that, SIC XC has four registers, B, S, T, F. So B is a base register, S is a general working register, T also general working register, and F is a floating point accumulator of 48 bits. Data format. It has the same data format as SIC, which means the 24-bit format for integers. Negative numbers are represented by 2's complement form. Characters are represented by 8-bit ASCII code. And in addition to that, it has a 48-bit floating point data type. So this is the syntax. So this is the structure of that floating point data type. First bit is the sign bit and the next 11 bits are exponent and the remaining 36 bits represents the fraction. Instruction format. In SIC, we have seen only one instruction format, which is of 24 bit. But here we are having four formats. So first format one, It's a one byte format. That means eight bits. Only opcode is there. Opcode which has a value. So it has a standard value. That value is given. So that is represented as eight bits. Second one is a format two. Format two means two bytes. That is 16 bits. So first 8 bits represents the opcode, next 4 bits represents register R1, then the remaining 4 bits represent register R2. So opcode with 2 registers, total 16 bits. Example, compare A, S. So compare is the opcode here, which takes 8 bits, and A and S takes 4 bits each. Next, format 3. Format 3 means 3 bytes. 3 bytes means it is creates a 24, 24 bits. It is similar to the SIC instruction. So here the bit distribution is first 6 bits are assigned as the op code. Then here next 6 bits represents the flags. NIXBPE. These flags are used in address, identifying the addressing modes. The remaining 12 bits represent the displacement or the operand of that instruction. So total 24 bits. Then coming to the next format, format 4, which is the, which has more length compared to all the other formats, 4 bytes means 32 bits. Here the bit distribution is six, first 6 bit again opcode, then the next 6 bits NIX BPE, the flags, then the remaining 20 bits are represented for the address or the operand. Example is J sub RDREC. Format 4 instructions are pre always preceded by the plus symbol. And then the operand will be a memory address, which has 20 bits. Now coming to the addressing modes. So what is actually meant by an addressing mode? 
if we consider an instruction it has an opcode and operand so this operand where the operand is placed or where the operand is residing it is in memory so this direct memory address can be the operand or the content of the memory address can be the operand value in order to identify the ad operand address what it denotes this addressing modes are used these are the different types of addressing modes these addressing modes are identified by using the bits nix bpe first we can see the base relative addressing mode base relative addressing mode means the bit b equal to 1 in the instruction if we convert the instruction into binary form then bit b equal to 1 and b equal to 0 b equal to 1 means it is base relative addressing mode which means whatever operand address or displacement is there in the instruction with that we have to add the content of the base register displacement plus content of base register gives the target address target address here means the address where the operand resides in memory from that target address we have to fetch the operand value then next is program counter relative if program counter relative means the bit b will be equal to 1 then b equal to 0 then in a similar way target address is calculated as displacement plus content of the program counter next base relative with indexing with indexing means the index register value should be equal to 1 and it is also base relative means b equal to 1 b equal to 1 and b equal to 0 x equal to 1 then program counter relative with indexing so it is b equal to 0 p equal to 1 and x equal to 1 again target address is calculated as displacement plus content of pc plus content of the x register direct addressing mode direct addressing from the word itself we can understand the address is given directly in the instruction itself so in this case the bits x equal to 0 b equal to 0 and p equal to 0 these three bits equal to 0 for addressing modes we have six bits n i x b p e in that this x b and p equal to 0 and one more condition is bits n and i are either both 0 or both 1 n equal to 0 and i equal to 0 or n equal to 1 and i equal to 1 here the target address equal to the displacement whatever displacement or whatever address value given in the instruction because it is direct addressing so direct addressing the bits x b p should be equal to 0 and the bits n and i are either both 0 or both 1 and the target address is the value given in the instruction itself next addressing is the immediate addressing immediate addressing this i stands for immediate i equal to 1 and n equal to 0 displacement is the operand value so displacement no memory address or target address immediate value we can take the meaning is immediate that is one example lda hash 9 immediate addressing that is represented by the hash symbol hash 9 means directly we are uh, giving the immediate value 9 the value 9 is given so this is this value 9 is the operand value no need for any memory address next it is indirect addressing indirect addressing means it is opposite of the direct addressing indirect whatever value given in the instruction at this value the content of that value again the content we have to take so for indirect addressing this i immediate that bit equal to 0 but the bit n equal to 1 the word at the location 
given by the displacement is fetched. The value contained in this word is taken as the operand value. For indirect addressing, at the rate symbol is used. To identify the indirect addressing, at the rate symbol is used. This is an example, J at the rate RAT ADR. Here, J means it's a jump instruction. At the rate indicates that it is an indirect instruction, indirect addressing mode. Now, RAT ADR is the memory address. This memory address is a variable, memory address. So, this content of the memory address. Again, we had to take the content of that memory address. So, indirectly, we had to fetch from the value. Compatibility of SIC and SIC XC. If bits N and I are both zero, then bits BPE are considered to be part of the address field. This makes format 3 identical to standard SIC. Format 3 instruction of the SIC XC can be considered as identical to the SIC instructions, which is of 24 bit length, 3 byte instructions. To make it identical, both the bits N and I should be 0 and X remaining bits, X bit is there in SIC and then BPE are considered to be part of the address field. Again, the bit E is used for to check whether which format, either format 3. E equal to 0 means the instruction is a format 3 instruction. E equal to 1 means the instruction is a format 4 instruction. Thank you. Thank you.